Howdy, 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 folks. It's your boy, Hefe Tanks. And today, I got a gameplay video for you guys. Just a quick look behind me right here. Not behind me, because I'm not in the screen, but you know what I mean. Here is the equipment I am using for the T30, and I will also show my perks, just in case you guys want to run this on your own T30. The T30 is the highlight, is the star of the show today, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. So, Alright, let's get into the gameplay here. So, we find ourselves on probably one of the better tank destroyer maps, and we are on Prokhorovka, you guys. Now, I am platooned up with another one of my buddies, and uh, we're going to absolutely have a banger of a game. So, we haven't had Inside the Mind of a Unicum video in a while, so let me just walk you guys through what is going through my noggin. So, pretty much, first thing I want to do, I'm going to tank destroyer. I, the best place I like to go is the 1-2 line. Usually someone spots for you, no issues. Now, one thing I should mention with the T-30 is that I am trying to foremark this thing right now. And that is why you see mainly an all APCR uh, loadout. I don't usually run all premium, but in the event of me just really wanting to get my first gold mark, I am sacrificing my dignity just a little bit. But honestly, the APCR in this tank is just so nice. Uh, you don't really need it for pen at all, but it is really nice for shooting long-range targets on the move. And since when I was doing this op, there was a light tank op that's going on, and it going that was going on, still is going on. And so there was just a bunch of light tanks just yellowing everywhere. So this just made shooting them a little bit easier because there was no way that I'd be able to hit these guys some of these shots without the premium ammo. That is a nice shot right there. RBRT never fails. That's a lie. It does fail a lot. Especially this th this gun does not like being snapped. It wants to be fully aimed. Once it's fully aimed, it, there's usually no issues with this tank. It's when you try firing this gun when it's not fully aimed. That's an issue. So, I don't have anyone spotting for me 1-2 line. Which is very unfortunate. But if you head into these bush locations right here, you should be able to more or less see things coming before they see you. I have a good camo on, uh, on this crew, and I have good view range also. So I move over to the left side of this ridge line to try to get myself a little bit more elevated to shoot the people in the bowl. Because I know that there's going to be someone pushing the bowl, and I am right. But it's just a light tank for right now. I try to take a shot, but he zigs when I zagged. And now I just need to get back into low ground right here. I was lucky not to take a hit right here. Usually there's people that are sitting up over on their C1 or something like that. And I would have usually taken a hit right there. So that was a little bit of a misplay by me. But I don't get punished for it. Thank goodness. And now it's just going to be pretty much defending this side. I have this bull. This is a tier 8 tank. It's not going to be an issue penning him. I just need to hit him. Unlike that. And I am going to be more or less hold down from him right here. The T-30 does have a good turret. The only time the turret struggles on this thing is when, I don't know, an E-4 or something with a high pen starts uh, firing right through it. Then it sort of stinks. But these guys do not have the pen for that. So I will be more or less a god. That guy gets tracked. I thought about taking that shot, but it was a small one. I'd rather just take the shot when he's spotted. I don't want to have to go through my reload for a miss. And he is spotted, and there we go, right through his face. I do get spotted in return. I think that I'm being targeted, so I know that there's a guy up there. I knew it. He takes a shot at me, misses. I'm gonna. He is going to be an issue up there, because I don't know if I will be able to spot him. I do mark it, and I let my other teammate know who just takes out the rest of that FCM out. So I start telling him that I'm going to start backing up. I tell him the location of that guy. These two light tanks are just up in here, and these guys are the biggest problems for me right now. And I have to just make a decision. If I don't kill these guys right now, we're going to lose the game. That, it's just a fact. I get the first guy right there. These vanguards think that they're hot stuff, but I'm going to quickly show them why this tank is three marked. And like I said, I have to take these guys out of the game. Even if I take some damage right now, these guys are going to win the battle for the enemies. And boom, 
take the other Vanguard out, dodge a shot from the other guy over there in the corner still, and now I need to get low. Now that I've taken their vision out of the game, I mean, they still have one light tank, but those vanguards, I can't tell you how bad this game would have gone. We would not have... I'm not, I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> I'm not spoiling anything, but we would have had a much, much, much harder time on this game if those two guys were let free. So now we're going to just work this ridge line right here. I know that there's still up a guy in that corner. I do spot him, and he's just about to get absolutely farmed. He is out of position. And for some reason, he decides to back up instead of going forward and getting low. So I'm just going to I'm gonna use it. I'm going to take him out of the game. I don't have to worry about him. And there he goes. So, 7-8, to eight, still losing, but we have done a nice sum of damage in this 4,000 damage so far. My other platoon mate, don't know how much he's done, but he will be coming in incredibly clutch later on in this game this is a long one but it's worth it all right so pretty much what i was telling my buddy and the platoon mate i wanted to take the one two line i wanted to clear one two so that we didn't have to worry about that side because i know that they're pushing off of the hill and i want to get this side done so we're not being attacked on two flanks i take a shot on the jig tig and he takes a shot on me I didn't think I was going to get spotted there, but I didn't know that there was also a medium tank on the 6 line, so that explains it, or the 5 line. And now I'm hold down right now, so this Jig Tig is not going to be able to do nothing for me, and he is out of here too. APCR coming in handy right there, I can just go right through the front of him pretty much anywhere. Now this tank is going to rush me down right here, I'm pretty much saying, oh no, oh no, I'm, I'm in trouble. But he does not pen me with that shot right there, I thought the other light tank was going to come in also. Thank goodness he did not, or else I would have actually lost a lot of health and maybe even died right here. They really missed being shot by the Artie. I tell my platoon mate where the Artie is, and at this point in time, I'm saying, okay, we need to clear one line. Our teammates have the have the railroad for right now, so that's that's good for at the moment. But we really do need to clear this, and it's just an Oni and an Artie over here. All the rest of their tanks are on the other side of the map. Get a nice shot into the Oni, and I'm gonna wait to go unspotted, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cross over because I don't think I'm gonna spot him again. I am not. So he's pulled far enough back to where I'm not gonna spot him, and we need to get him out of here. Light him up again, no shots. I don't think my platoon mate has shots on him either. But like I said, we just need to get him out of here. Fully aim the shot. We don't wanna risk not missing that or hitting that shot. And there's the T-30, we want to get low, we don't want to take a hit from him. And we're going to keep on pushing over here. It's about this time where I notice that the train tracks might be in trouble, but I can't do anything about it at the moment. I still am on the mindset of clearing this side and especially getting RD out of here. If we get RD out of here, then we don't have to worry about him taking 800 of our hit points away from his base but sadly where i think he's gonna be i am not spotting him which tells me that we have a problem because this already might have a brain and that is some high praise coming from me now as we get over here further and further i'm just gonna crest up over this ridge line i don't want to fully commit and luckily we have a very nice shot on the t30 my view range coming in handy right here where i'm spotting him he's not spotting me I'm able to get a nice shot into him through the bushes. He is not going to be able to pen me right here. I'm just going to wait to go unspotted, and I'm going to rinse and repeat on him. At this point in time, it is 2-5. Well, now it's 2-4, but this game is looking very hairy. We are on the opposite side of the map. We have left our base unaccounted for, and I knew that this was probably going to happen, and now we are being capped. So far, only one of them is in the cap circle, but we are still going to struggle to get over to the cap circle in a minute and 20 seconds or whatever it's at. And wouldn't you know it, another one hops in the cap circle. Now we only have 37 seconds to get back to this cap circle and reset. I was telling my platoon mate, it is going to be up to you, man, because I am not going to be fast enough to get over there to reset, so you have to get a reset for us. He's in the SDRV. He is a lot faster than I am. 
So he's just beelining it for the camp circle. Now I want to make sure that I put myself into a position to shoot these guys just in case my other platoon mate isn't able to get a reset. Now I am loaded and I am prepared to take a blind fire just to try to save this game in a last ditch attempt. We're at three seconds, two seconds, one second, I take a blind shot. I didn't need to. My buddy got a blind shot on one of their tanks because they knocked over a piece of barrier and he saved the game on one second. He now then spots up all of the people on cap circle. I call out I'm going to shoot the IS. He calls out he's going to take the T-77. And this game is all of a sudden completely and utterly winnable. This T-92 is absolutely should be shitting his pants at this point in time because he knows that I'm about to cremate him. And guess what? I do. All we have to do now is kill the pig. This is it. We did it. We came back two to five. Reset the cap circle on a blind fire that was done when the cap circle said one second. We were one second from losing this game. Already takes one last ditch attempt to try to knock me out of this game. He loses, which means that it's just going to be hunting season. This game, you guys. I know that you can get some really crazy gameplay out of some really crazy other YouTubers, but this one for me was actually insane. I've never done this much raw damage before in a tier 9 tank. You know, I can pull it off in a tier 10 tank with like a high alpha like in the Tehran or something, which by the way I have a really good gameplay, I'll link it up in the right here, of the highest gameplay I think I've ever done in the Tehran, or in my whole career of playing World of Tanks. And there goes the pig. I think he had completely given up faith. And we pull the dub off, you guys. What an absolute carry. The enemy team put some work in because they placed second and third. But they didn't carry enough. All I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. GG to all of them. <laughs> well, actually freaking out sort of sent me a message saying that I'm going to get reported for cheating. So, I mean... I mean, yeah, here I am, still here, bud. And this is the best part. Look at all of these medals, you guys. Crucial contribution. We killed 12 enemies. We actually killed 13 enemies between the two of us. We got a Brothers in Arms, Pools Medal, Mastery. We got a Top Gun. We got the most medals I've seen in a long, long time. I did not even know that I killed 10 tanks up until this point. I had no idea. I was just so dead set on trying to pull this win off that I did not care how many kills I had. But oh my god, does it feel good. We killed 13 tanks. We only left, between the two of us, we only left two tanks alive on the field that we did not kill. That is actually insane actually insane we could not have won this game if it wasn't for my platoon mate actually getting that reset on the game enabling us to carry this game to a victory god bless you penny i hope that this gameplay was as entertaining as it was to play it why don't you guys do me a favor if you like the video go and we'll rack the like and subscribe we'll drop a comment and i will see you lovely people in the next one adios